let's find the values of x given that x over 5 times x over 5 is equal to 5 over x times 5 over x. Now let's do it this way. x times x gives x squared all over 5 times 5 gives 5 squared. And this is equal to, now on the right hand side, 5 times 5 gives 5 squared all over x times x gives x squared. Now our next step will be for us to cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply like this, starting with the x. x squared times x squared is same as x squared all raised to the 2. This is equal to, now 5 squared times 5 squared is also 5 squared all raised to the 2. Now our next step will be for us to move 5 squared raised to the 2 to the left hand side. So we have x squared all raised to the 2 already on the left. And as this term crosses to the left hand side, it becomes negative. 5 squared all raised to the 2. And this is now equal to 0. Now notice that we have an expression in difference of 2 squares. An expression of in difference of 2 squares such as a squared minus b squared, in this case, this is equal to a minus b times a plus b. This is actually a property. So we're going to be expressing this in this form. So this can be written as x squared minus 5 squared, just as in this case, times x squared plus 5 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now notice that we have two cases. So let me call this case 1. Case 1 is either x squared minus 5 squared is equal to 0 or case 2 this case which is x squared plus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now we're going to be solving these cases one after the other. Now let's start with case 1. So this can be simplified into x squared minus 5 squared is 25. And this is equal to 0. Now, let's move negative 25 to the right. So we have x squared to be equal to, as negative 25 crosses, it becomes positive. Now, in order to get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides. So take the square root of the left and also take the square root of the right hand side. Now notice that this square root can cancel out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. The square root of 25 is 5. So there are actually two values of x from here. So one of it is the positive 5, while the other is the negative 5. Now let's move on to our case 2. So for our case 2, we simplify. So this becomes x squared plus 5 squared is 25 and this is equal to 0. Now let's move 25 to the right. So we have x squared to be equal to, as 25 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 25. Now to get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides. Now taking the square root of both sides, this is simplified into square root cancels as square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. Now we have a negative inside of the radical, which shows that this will give a complex solution. The square root of 25 is actually 5, but because of this negative, we have iota, which is a complex value. So there are also two values of x from here. So this is going to be the third value, which is positive 5i. Then the other one, which is going to be the 
fourth value is the negative 5i. That is it. Now, let's check if what we have here is correct. Now, I'm going to be checking for the real solution first. Our given question is x over 5 times x over 5 equal to 5 over x times 5 over x. Now, I'll check with positive 5. Now, when I put positive 5 here, divide by this 5 times, this is 5, divided by 5, this is equal to 5, divided by 5, times 5, divided by 5. This is when x is equal to 5, by the way. Now, notice that 5 divided by 5 is 1, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1, equal to 5 divided by 5 is 1, this is 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so 1 times 1 is also 1. So we see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So the same thing happens when I put negative in place of x, we're still going to have the same result, because the negative when multiplies becomes positive. Now, let's check for our complex solution to see if we're going to have the same value. So, let's start with when x is equal to 5i. So, this will be 5i divided by 5 times 5i divided by 5. This is equal to 5 divided by 5i times 5 divided by 5i. So we need a little more space. So we see that this 5 will cancel out this 5. This 5 will cancel out this 5. So we have i times i, which gives i squared, equal to this 5 cancel out this 5. So we have 1 here. This 5 cancel out this 5. So we have 1 here on the numerator. So 1 times 1 is 1 all over the denominator, i times i is also i squared. Now, you should know that i squared is equal to negative 1. That is a value for this complex number. So that means the left-hand side is negative 1 and is equal to 1 divided by negative 1. So we see that negative 1 on the left is equal to 1 divided by negative 1 is still negative 1. So we see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And even if you have to test for when x is equal to the negative value of 5i, we still have the same result. Because when we put, okay, the question is 5x over 5 times x over 5. We'll do this one quickly. This is 5 over x times 5 over x. Let me put this so that we can see it very well. So this is negative 5i over 5 times. This is negative 5i over 5 to be equal to 5 all over negative 5i times 5 all over negative 5i. Now see that this 5 and this 5 will cancel out. This 5 and this 5 will cancel out. So negative i times negative i is negative i squared, right? Cool. Equal to, now this 5 can go, so we have 1 at the top, this 5 can go, and we have 1 at the top. So 1 times 1 is 1, all over. Now negative i times negative i is negative i squared. Now notice that this can be negative i times negative i. So when negative multiplies, it becomes positive. So we have i squared. So it's the same thing as positive i squared. This is equal to 1 all over negative i squared is same as positive i squared. Now we've known that this one is negative 1, and this is equal to 1 all over negative 1. So we've got the same values as the one we have before. So now feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. 
turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.